One of the biggest mistakes companies make is they try to drive traffic using landing pages, using cold ads, using uh, all these different forms of things that are off the most important hub that's going to be important for you to generate leads. And that is your website. How can you effectively generate thousands of leads on your website, quality ones, whether you're in the B2B space, the B2C space, doesn't matter what industry you're in, what target audience you're going for, what product or service that you sell. I'm going to share with you the process that we use for clients internally to generate thousands of leads every single month that generate millions of dollars in revenue. YouTube community, I wanna make sure that you actually get engaging advice, so I want you to comment below, let me know how you're generating leads from your website right now, or what questions do you have about generating leads on your business. Or any insights that you have, I want you to comment below right now and share with me what you have in your mind before you watch this video. Now, just to show you the importance of why you should focus on your website as the main central hub to drive more leads and sales in your business. One day I was doing a consultation with a client, her name was Kate, and Kate was in a vegan slash uh, fitness workout type of industry for moms specifically. Now she's very energetic, she's very enthusiastic, and she has a very great personality, and she was able to create that blog for her business, and she was doing about $100,000 in annual revenue, and she wasn't getting any leads at all, so I was on the phone, I was talking with her, I was like, hey Kate, like you're getting like someone, how are you driving the sales and how come you're not getting leads? I don't understand. So we jumped in and we went into her Google Analytics, we looked at her traffic. She was getting about 80,000 visits a month, which means she was almost at a million visits a year. So it was a big disconnect. It's like, Kate, how are you driving so much traffic, but you're not getting any leads at all? It doesn't make any sense. So afterwards we went on her site, we dived deeper into what's happening on there. And then we looked at the actual opt-in form and asked her, Kate, where's your opt-in form? And she said, what's, an, what's this opt-in form? I'm like, where you're collecting emails? And she was saying, oh, uh, it's like somewhere in the hidden, like very deeply in the page on where people basically can't find. You basically look at the page and it's hidden very far away. And it's also a little bit of a camouflage. And I said, okay, why are you hiding that opt-in so deep in the page? And it's also blended in with the color so you can't even see it. And then the box is like just a really funky color and everything. And I see it makes sense why you're not driving leads because you're not making the right process for the leads to be able to even interact with you, to opt in and also start that relationship with you. So throughout that process, I share with them how do you, she can drive more leads. She didn't have a traffic problem at all. She was driving a ton of traffic, but she just had to have the optimal places to put the, the, the opt-ins and the leads and everything to collect those things. So after sharing with her the process, she was able to build a multi-million dollar business. She drive much more leads. She's getting a lot more traffic and a lot more sales. And I wanna share with you that process even if you are generating 80,000 in traffic every single month, or even if you're not driving any traffic at all, these are the five core elements that you must have to be able to drive those leads in your business. Now, even if you don't have a ton of traffic to your website, there's already a ton of videos I have created for you on YouTube and also on LinkedIn on my own website that teaches you how to drive traffic so your target audience actually pays attention to you at the same time and also how to turn that traffic into leads and ultimately turn it into sales. But for this video specifically, I wanna share with you on your website the five core elements that you must have and how to drive that once you have that traffic on your site, how to convert those into leads and after the lead process, what is the indoctrinations that you must have? Now, even if you're overwhelmed right now, don't worry. I'm gonna break this down for you in a very simple and easy way to understand. Now, to lead by example, I wanna share with you the process that we use on my own website. What are the assets? What are the offers? What is the exact process and the five core factors to convert that traffic into high quality leads. So let's look at my website. Now, the first thing you can see on the homepage, the very top of the headline, join the exclusive digital growth community for six to nine figure entrepreneurs. You see that right away I'm saying, if you wanna increase your traffic, your leads and your sales online today with the done for you video guides and templates, enter your name and your email and request your invitation. The next thing you can see, I talk about really the things that are gonna be most important for my target audience, right? Are you overwhelmed by the information on how to grow your business online? Or what to focus on that really drives growth? Do you not have the time or resources to implement? Have you ever been burned by other agencies that promised the moon and failed to deliver? So you can see that's one of the main things I lead with. And also you scroll down, you see a videos, and I lead them in different parts of the journey on my website. At the bottom, you can see there's actually one of the things, discover in five minutes how much money you're losing, in your digital marketing or how much is your digital marketing how much money is your digital marketing costing you and how much money are you losing so there you can see i have the website url of the video they enter in and actually analyzes their actual business and your website and i recommend you also use this tool as well this is one of the tools i created to really 
it's a, it's a digital version of the what I ask my clients to be able to understand how much money they're losing in their business. Now on the Digital Marketing University page, any content page that you have, you can see the way that we structure the opt-in is actually personalized to the page. So when you go on the DMU, you can actually see that there's exclusive access in the top right corner. And then when they scroll down, I ask them, what results do you want to accomplish online today? There's also traffic, leads, and sales. Now when you open each individual one, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. So you go to the traffic side, you can see that on the top right corner, as soon as it loads, exclusive access. Now what's interesting for you to note is that the opt-ins on the page, you can see when I tried to exit, it actually pops up with a different offer and a different copy. Everything's completely different that's catered to the result that you're viewing on the page. So on this page, for example, you're seeing that you want to increase your traffic. There's name and there's email. The first thing that says if you want to increase traffic is receive exclusive access to the ultimate zero traffic to millions of visitors resource kit. Imagine your business being visited by hundreds of thousands to millions of people in your target audience every week or month. Being able to consistently increase high quality traffic without spending a ton of money is the foundation of success online. Now, if you want to increase your leads and you're trying to exit, you can see the opt-in is a completely different offer. Receive exclusive access to the ultimate zero to thousands of quality leads per month resource kit. Imagine having a system that generates hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands of quality leads every month while cultivating the relationship so that they want to become your lifelong customers and clients all on autopilot 24 seven. Now, if you want to increase your sales, there's a sales specific opt-in as well. Receive exclusive access to the ultimate zero to millions of customers and revenue resource kit. Imagine generating hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of sales every day, week or month online from lifelong customers that want to buy your product or service. Discover how successful businesses are generating millions online with the digital marketing that you can use. Now, the second most important place that we want to be able to drive a ton of leads for your business is using your blog or where you're publishing content the most frequent. So for example, this is an example of a copywriting post to copyright the foundations of increasing your traffic leads and sales online, even if you hate writing. So you can see some of the elements right here that are presented on the right, that I'm gonna go into more of this as, a, as an asset for you to use. But this is one of the things that are tied into the website analyzer tool. How much money are you losing? Discover if you're losing hundreds of thousands or millions from your business right now. Just enter your website below to start. So you can see you can enter your website and you can scroll down as you're scrolling down, you're reading the post, there's the video, and you can see the video actually resizes down to the bottom left, so you can actually have an ease of use of actually watching the content. And then as you're watch, reading this content and you're watching the content, it gives you ease of access as well. And then when you scroll down, there's also a content expansion on the actual post. And you can see we have this thing on the right that follows them around as they're consuming the content or watching the video. So for example, if they click on play on the video, you can see you're watching the video and you can actually engage with the content as well. Almost subscribe to my own video. Now, if you can see, you scroll down below, you can see all the content. There's content expansions on here and upgrades, where basically means that they want a detailed walkthrough for this specific video on copywriting, then they can get that as well by opting in. So that's one of the ways that you can do on the blog. You have the content upgrades. You have the sidebar as well. You can include upgrades on there and constant up, uh, opt-ins. Main lead drivers on the website that we're using right now and as I'm planning to ramp things up is you can see that there's actually a analyzer right here on the website. How much money are you losing from your digital marketing? Discover in three minutes or less how to potentially save $250,000 to a million dollars with a few simple questions and you get the top three strategies to grow your business online. You can enter your website and all they have to do is enter in the website. So for example, if we enter in abc.com, it goes into this and you can actually answer 10 to 12 core questions and through those 10 to 12 core questions as you give more details, you're able to actually see this number below and how much money you're actually losing based on the website that's being analyzed in the back end and also at the same time based on the questions that you're answering. And then afterwards on the page, what you can do, and I recommend you go through this as well, you're going to be able to see a page where it'll show you what are the top three strategies to grow your business, how to regain your revenue and also gonna show you an actual uh, digital results strategy session process at the back once you complete these uh, processes. Now, even if you don't have the time, the money, or resources to put together and analyze a tool like the one I just showed you, you can go on sites like Interact or Lead Quizzes and put together basically a basic quiz 
that your target audience cares about and is gonna find it engaging. It's either you can relate it to a problem that they wanna solve or a solution or a result that they wanna achieve. For example, why my specific thing is tied to how much money is your business losing from underperforming digital marketing, it's because business owners don't want to lose money, right? Even for myself, nobody wants to lose money. So I'm using a problem and the pain to motivate them to be able to take action and enter the website. I keep it very simple and they go through a few simple questions and it'll give them a clear result. So that's one of the things. What is the problem that you want to solve for your target audience? Can you create a quiz or something that personalizes that whole process for them and also helps you generate a bunch of leads? Now I'm going to go through the process, but you can use the Interact. I'm going to show you right now or lead quizzes. Now try Interact. You can see on the screen, this is one of the tools that you can use as well, or you can use lead quizzes. So both of these tools allow you to be able to drive more leads and also sales for your business. But what's interesting is that you're able to actually, you can see on the screen, drive them into this process. They take an entertaining and engaging quiz. They're also able to personalize the journey based on the answers that they set. That's one of the things that's awesome about the quiz that you can use to generate leads. Now I'm personally not affiliated with lead quizzes or try Interact. So I've just heard of colleagues and friends have used them very successfully to generate a lot of leads. They also have a ton of case studies you can see on both of their websites. I would say if you had to choose between both, you can personally look at both to see which works. To me, they're pretty much similar in the way that they set up the whole process. They make it very easy to generate leads. They personalize it, connect it with your marketing automation. Now, one extra tip for you is I'm using something like this, and this is how we do it on my website too. And the reason why I also don't use both of these is I wanted to create a more sophisticated tool. So I wanted to have my uh, developers actually build out this tool on the website and then also have a little bit of a customized feature on there, which is why I'm not using both of these tools. But I recommend if you don't have thousands of dollars to spend, start with these, something simple, basic to get going and generate more leads. At the same time, you can also use some of these uh, processes to personalize the process. That's really one of the keywords, personalize. So for example, if you're in the fitness space and you have, you're, you have, you're driving leads, you wanna be able to understand three core results. So if people wanna build muscle, if people wanna lose fat, if people wanna just have better lifestyle and live a help, feel healthier, those three specific journeys are different. So you wanna be speaking differently to the people that are saying they wanna lose fat versus they wanna build muscle. There is some overlap, but when you're able to personalize communication using these quizzes, then you're gonna get a much higher conversion rate, a much better experience that you're able to provide for the people that are going through and becoming a lead in your business. So you can start with these tools and let me know how they go. Now, there's also two conversion processes that I'm using on the website as well as we're implementing. We're using webinars and also client case studies to be able to produce these types of content for our target audience to engage with and consume. Because one of the things that you wanna keep in mind is that your audience wants to engage with you but you wanna give them the opportunity to do so through different types of media to consume and different platforms and different funnel progressions as they go through. So for example, if someone wants to learn about how the three digital strategies that we use to generate $100 million for our clients annually, then they can go on to the webinar where I'm presenting the different types of strategies and case studies and how you can apply it to your business as well. Also, a side note, if you have not registered for that webinar, I'm gonna include a link also here or in the comment below. Make sure you register for this webinar because I'm gonna be sharing with you, and it's a live webinar right now is the time you're watching this, and I'm gonna turn it to an actual automated webinar afterwards, but for now it's live, I'm tweaking the webinar, I'm making sure it's engaging for you. The second thing that I want you to do is that there's also a case study as well that you can opt into, but each of these things are different ways to consume the content. It's essentially the same thing, but it's packaged in a different way and allows the target audience to pick and choose how you want to interact with me, how you want to become a lead in the business, or really start that relationship. So you want to figure out what are the ways that you can use, what types of mediums and platforms do your target audience want to consume and start that relationship with your business and your brand. Now we've arrived at the most important part of this video, the five core factors that I mentioned that you must have on your website to be able to convert a ton of traffic into leads. The first core thing is the asset. What is it that you're gonna to give to your target audience and how are, you, how are you giving it to them? So is it a webinar, is it a case study, is it a PDF, is it a guide, is it a blog post, is it a video series? What is that asset that your target audience actually cares and wants to consume and how are you gonna give it to them? That's the first thing. Now the second core factor is the offer. Now the offer, you think of it, if we go back to the example of our website, it's how you package your asset. What is that irresistible compelling offer that your target audience actually cares about and you wanna make it super compelling? For example, if you wanna increase your traffic on the website, I said how you can increase your traffic by hundreds to millions of dollars that resource kit for your business. So for example, if you're in the fitness space, how you can lose 
10, 20, 30 pounds in the next month without going to the gym. That's basically an example of how you can present an offer to your target audience to make it compelling. You don't want to say, hey, opt in for my list, which is what I see one of the biggest mistakes on a lot of websites. 90% of websites do this. No one wants to join a newsletter. That's not compelling. The offer is something that you want to make sure that's something that's irresistible to your audience. The third core factor is the process. What does the process look like and the journey from the traffic to turn into a lead on your website? And also after they become a lead, the most important part is the process that you're using, the emails, the videos, the whole indoctrination process. That is where you're going to warm up and cultivate the lead and ultimately become a lifelong customer in your business and generate that revenue and also extend that relationship. So what is that process for your business? So the fourth one is the personalization. You wanna make sure that you personalize the lead opt-in and the irresistible offer based on the page that they're at on your website. So for example, if you're in the fitness space, if someone is visiting about how to lose weight, you have an offer that's for them to opt in on losing weight. If they're looking at a page on how to eat and have an healthy, active lifestyle, you wanna have an opt-in related to that. You wanna personalize the messaging, the process, the journey for your target audience as they're going on your website. Don't keep it as a generic opt-in, join the newsletter on your entire website. That's one of the biggest mistakes you'll see and it's also why you're, you're wasting a ton of your ad dollars and also why you're not generating a ton of leads as well. Now the fifth, Final factor, and it's really one of the least important, but it's the location. Where are you putting the opt-in on your website? You wanna make sure it's at least observable. If you remember from Kate in the earlier story, one of the previous clients, put the opt-in somewhere that's so obscure that you can't even find it. You wanna make sure it's easily and readily available to your target audience. They go on your website, they can see it, and it doesn't disrupt the experience that they're having on your website. That's one of the key things I want you to get is that you wanna create that experience on your website, you wanna make sure it's smooth and it flows when they're trying to, if they wanna start that interaction, that communication with you and become a lead. You wanna make sure on the website you have it very simply laid out and it's very clear to them how they can start that process with you. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the DMU on my website. You're opting into this webinar. I'm gonna have a link below of this, whether you're on YouTube or on LinkedIn, it's gonna be below for you. At the same time, make sure you're also opting into all the case studies. I want you to see how I'm doing it, what is the process that I'm using, and that you can model after. The copy, the offer, the location, the positioning. Make sure you go to the website, you study it, and you also opt in. So you can also get a lot more videos just like this. Now you're probably thinking, Benson, you're in the personal brand space, you're in the marketing space, of course you're gonna know how to put the opt-ins everywhere, how to get high conversion rates but I'm in a different industry, a different target audience and selling a different product or service. So this probably doesn't apply to me, right? That is one of the biggest misconceptions and assumptions that businesses make. Now, right now, what I wanna do is I wanna share with you an example in e-commerce, in SaaS, in professional services, in digital products or education. It doesn't matter what business industry you're in or who, what target audience you're going for. These principles apply to your business and I'm gonna give you some actual real world tangible examples of how this works. So let's actually take a look at beerbrand.com. Now beer brand is exactly what the name sounds like. They're selling beard grooming products for men. And right on the homepage, what do you notice? What type of beardsman are you? They're making entertaining and funny. Three guys sitting there in a, looks like a parking lot or some kind of place. And then they click on take quiz. That's how they start the process. And then they have a, a quiz. They want you to join the community, join the list. You can see right here. And then they go through this process, they enter an email address, they can join the list. So that's their first opt-in, they have it right on the homepage. And then right below you can scroll down, they talk about their recommended reading, the blogs, and even when you go on their blogs and they have their milestones and everything, they have their opt-ins throughout their website. They also have it on every single specific product page as well when you go on there. You're viewing an individual page. Go on there, you can see they have the images, the reviews, they also have this follow you, and they have all these different things on the website. So that's something on the e-commerce side. So you can see on e-commerce, you can even do a quiz, you can do an opt-in right below at the very bottom, you can talk about your blog when people are consuming your content. There's also things on here. Right here, get our top 10 beer tips. You scroll down, you read any specific post on this website. You can see that they have the opt-ins in the content as well. So this is one of the best ways to, even if you're e-commerce, you can apply the principles I just shared with you. Now, let's say you're in the digital education space or you teach selling digital products. Let's take a look at Warrior Trading. Now, Warrior Trading is one of the leading top 
educational, uh, stock trading educational companies online. They built one of the biggest communities. And if you go on their website, you can see they split up by beginner and experienced trader. And when they go onto the bottom of the page, they also have a quiz right below this page. And you scroll down, you can see that there's an opt-in on this page as well. The ultimate beginner trading kit. And at the same time for the experienced trading kit. If you click on it, if you want this, opt-in. They're able, they have done it masterfully to be able to personalize the opt-ins on this page based on four different ways that people want to consume their content, which their target audience are traders. Now, if you're a SaaS business, HubSpot has done this masterfully. They've created a lot more than just quizzes and opt-ins on their website but they got, they've created tools like the free HubSpot CRM, which is one of the biggest lead generators. From what I know, they generate 80 to 100,000 leads, I think per month. Don't quote me on that from what I've heard from uh, friends and colleagues, just from this tool alone. And also at the same time on their blog, they have a ton of amazing content on the website. You can go on there, you can check out the resources, they have case studies, they have the blog, and every single blog is an opt-in and they have white papers. They've done this just really, really well in terms of how you, that you can be able to consume the content and if you want more expanded posts, you can opt in. You can see on this page, you can scroll through, they have this HubSpot service hub, learn more. You can go on the white papers, you can opt in on this. You can see this is one of the tools that they drive you to. At the same time, if you want some case studies, if you go on here, or even their researches and reports, you can see that they also have a lot of opt-ins on this page. If you want to download this guide, you can opt in on here. Now, for example, a pop-up just showed up here, join thousands of business leaders so they have an exit pop-up that generally leads that way without disrupting the experience. Now the next thing, even if let's say you are a, one of the largest uh, professional service firms, especially for lawyers, is called Dentons, which is one of our lawyers that we use as well. But you look at their website, they have one of the largest uh, um, lawyer bases as well. They're one of the huge firms and they do millions of dollars in revenue and you look at any of the specific parts of the website, let's say we go to automotive, they broke it down on their page. And even on the website, you can see right here, find your dentist team, they have a sign up for our mailing list. So you click on this, it'll actually pull you to a page where it'll load for you, it'll say, what, keep yourself in the know, do you want invitations to training events, do you want news and publications, do you want uh, how do we contact you? What are the areas that you're most interested in? Tell us more about you. This whole long form opt-in. Now, one quick note is that the more forms that you have, then the more qualified the lead will be because you're keeping it a lot more filters for them to opt in. It's not as simple as just a name and an email, which makes sense if you're in a professional services, you want to talk to people that are qualified. You know, you don't want to be talking to just tire kickers and the average person that doesn't or isn't interested in spending money with your business. So I understand it from Denson's point of view. So that's your example. You can see Dentons, HubSpot, Warrior Trading, Beer Brand, e-commerce, whatever industry you're in, you can study, look at your top three competitors, look at the websites that I share with you to be able to grow your business and also drive a lot more leads using all the different methods combined. Now that you know how to convert more leads through the central hub, your main website, as promised, I wanna share with you an expanded post of the step-by-step -step walkthroughs, videos, templates, and guides on how you can do this and implement it with your team or on your own in your business. Doesn't matter, you don't have to have a ton of traffic. I'm gonna share with you that piece as well. But this one is focused on how do we drive more leads in your business using your website, all the different placements, the five core factors, in multiple different industries and target audiences. Now, YouTube community, I wanna thank you for watching this video and there's three core things that I want you to do. I want you to comment below first and let me know what is one insight or one value that you got from this video or any other questions that you have related to how to drive more leads on your website. Comment below as I read all the comments personally. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to like this video and it shows that you're actually appreciating the content, you're getting value from it. By liking it right there, you just hit that thumbs up. The final thing that's the most important is that you actually subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future content and you make sure you hit that bell icon, that bell right there. I want you to hit that icon right now. Go below, hit the subscribe, and then hit that bell icon to get notifications of future episodes on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.